Welcome back viewers to an episode of Humanity's Embers. Today we are going on Operation Doomstar, where we go rescue a VRP from an advent vehicle. We are rescuing an assault, which honestly we don't really need, but I guess let's think of this as a training mission. We have way over infiltrated and the enemy are vulnerable and we're only facing extremely light, so let's go ahead and launch mission. Menace 1 5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Oh. Positions concealed. God. What, this is far? Holy, okay. We have um, a lot of map to get through. So if we go through what? Like one block to get to here, and another like one or two blocks to get to the exit. That is insane. Well, I guess let's have a look at who we have here. We can get started. If I remember right, this I think was a squad with no Shinobi, which is unfortunate, but we do have six people. So let's have a look. We have Cat Incognito, the Ranger. We have Simon, the Specialist. Fu Hang, the Assault. Boy Terra, the Sharpshooter. Sokos, the, uh, what are you? You're the Technico. And Norum is the Grenadier. Okay, so we have a wide range of people. We have two incendiary grenades on Norum, so that's kind of nice. I guess we are concealed, so let's get moving. I'm just gonna head straight this way. There's no point trying to take this roof unless like there's a pod here, which I'm really hoping there isn't. Now what I probably should do is be scouting with oh, there's a pod here. And it's a nasty pod. There's a mutant on that pod. Hey Void Terra. You can just barely get onto this roof. Well, I might have to uh, get you onto this roof then. I feel like because of how far away the rescue target is from the exit, we're gonna have to find a matter what we do. And we don't have Shinobi to scout anyway, so let's just embrace that. Running. Let's get you up here. Fu Hang. Let's get you... Uh, let's actually get more people closer. Let's get Sokos over here. I want to get proper vision of everyone before I move you up. Okay, I can definitely move you here, so I'm going to move you here. Now. And let's find out if there's more pods in the area too. Do I have Valve Scans on anybody? Probably not. I think we only just managed to get Valve Scans after we started infiltrating for this mission. But I mean, hey, the enemy are vulnerable, so how bad can it be, right? Okay, Nora. Wow, you're surprisingly slow. Oh, because you got a rifle. On the move. And Simon. Get you over here. Got it. Okay, we'll see what happens next turn. What I'm hoping is I can snipe the uh, Muton and go from there. This is only three enemies. For all I know, the other part is just as nasty as this part. Yep, the other part is just as nasty as this part. Okay, well who can see a Muton? Because if the answer is only Fu Hang, I feel like the answer is only Fu Hang. It means if I move Fu Hang out of the way, I won't trigger this part by going for this part. On the other hand, it looks like I can't get a precision shot on this Muton. Hmm. Oh, don't tell me this mission is like nothing but Mutons. Because if that's the case, that is nasty stuff. Oh. Um. What I definitely don't want to have to do is fight two Mutons. How high ranking is Norum? He's got stink grenades, so, or she's got stink grenades, so that's pretty high ranking. This is a real shame Void Terror can't see. Do I want to take a move and take a shot? Maybe. I say, Void Terror, move you here. I'm gonna move Fu Hank over here. And just gotta remember. I need to not move any closer this way. Could get a awkward? Yes. Let's go ahead and shoot that mutant. Okay, nice. We have a knee pressure shot to kill mutant. Yep, now we have two sectoids. Hmm, interesting cover they have taken. Fascinating cover they have taken. I think we've only revealed one of them. But hey, we can kill that one. The other one, 
Um, I'll think about it. Um, can we even see the one in the back? Sort of. What I can always do is um, stun the one in the back. And what I do about you, though? I can't move up to here. If I move up to here, I'm definitely going to activate that part. Uh, as it is, they are probably on yellow alert now. I, mean, I can take 244, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's also not bad. I'm tempted to do so. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get it. Try again. Nice. Like I said, it's not great, but it kind of works. Now, just for you. Can I see you from here? Norm, go ahead and take a shot at him. 80%, just have graze. Awesome. Lots of loot. Just to be careful while I do a full hand kick. I don't want to accidentally activate now. Let's move you over here. Moving to position. Not the most useful position, but that's okay. Simon, I'm going to have you just probably overwatch. Not much more you can do. I'm expecting them to... Oh, they didn't move up. Okay, well, who hang? Move you to here, where you're probably going to activate. The heck did they go? Okay, to be fair, I've noticed this sometimes. So, when you put a pawn to yellow alert, they move backward rather than towards you. It's really weird. Maybe that's what happened here. Let's put Norm over here. Let's put Cat over here. Um... Simon can go Morning. here. Void Terror, I'm gonna have you jump down. Absolutely. And Sokos, go ahead and put you. I'm not gonna dash you any further than through hand. So, what I'll probably do here is Overwatch. I'm expecting Overwatch. them to come back very soon. You, steady. Um, obviously without no profiles, this is very dangerous. They're not coming back? They're not coming back. Okay, that's really weird. Oh, what's this give me? Eh, not bad, but also not worth it. Let's keep moving. Hmm. I'm gonna move Norum up. Heading out. That's an activation. Hopefully just one pod. Now, I know there has to be another pod out there somewhere. Because this is not a mutant pod. Interesting. Fascinating even. Okay, I can incendiary one of them, but I need to figure out what to do with the other. Possibly start with a position shot and go from there. I say I'm gonna do a precision shot on the Guardian. Cool. And I'm gonna incendiary him. Now yes it might fail and not set him on fire. If that happens, well, let's activate fortify first. Just to be a little safer and go ahead and do incendiary. Cool, he's on fire. We can ignore him for now. Let's grab some loot. You, get over here. And don't activate a paw, by the way. That would be very unfortunate. Uh, yes, you do. Um, let's not use cat, let's use you. I need to be very careful because I don't want to activate the Mutant Pod. And I do have people in the open now. Okay, it took a few clicks to get okay. <laughs> I'm awful. Like that. Okay, Fu Hang, let's get you up here. Uh, Sokka, let's get you over here. We're just moving up a little bit for now. Yeah, unfortunately without the Shinobi, it is a lot harder to move people. Let's move you here. Uh, you, of watch, see what happens. You, of watch, see what happens. Take a little bit of damage, but you can't shoot, which is the important thing. Unfortunately, the Mion Pod is almost certainly on yellow alert, and they might be coming back now. But they didn't do anything. Cool. Let's keep moving then. That's probably activated Mion Pod. That's okay. It's a part of three. That's probably okay. That's hopefully okay. Mion's back there. Okay, cool. Let's run and gun you. And unfortunately, you're not that likely to actually one-shot the Muton. Uh, the only thing I want to check is if you check this officer, he's going to be burning for... Oh, when the alien turn starts. Okay, that's unfortunate. 
Okay, what I might do first here is use Norum. So please go ahead, do rapid deployment, and see how much we can stun with this. So we got four active. That's a drone over there, okay. And there's no way I'm getting anything more than just these two, am I? Yeah. Okay, well let's start with these two and we'll go from there. He's just a basic trooper and a drone just a basic drone. Basically it just stuns a Muton, which it did not. In fact, neither of them stunned, which is kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, where was I? Lots of distractions. Um, okay, yeah, none of them are stunned, which is very unfortunate. I think what I might have to do is go ahead and use an arc poster here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to deal with a very angry Muton. That's not good. Uh, what about everyone else, though? How am I going to deal with the officer and you? Norm can move somewhere and chuck another scenery somewhere. I don't know if the scenery stops grenades. And it's you. 100% on the drone. The drone's not actually the biggest threat. And you can't flank anyone. They're actually in pretty good cover. Well, one thing I'll do is it's scenery up. Stun the Muton and send to him even more. Sounds a little silly? Maybe. Or I incinerate the Muton and kill you off. That might be better. So let's see about incinerate first. Let's move you up to say here. Moving to position. And we know where everything is active. Let's go ahead and burn the Muton. Whoa. We're removing the armor. Because it's not an explosive grenade. Oh well. He's on fire. Excellent. Okay, ignore the muton now. Which means I don't have to waste uh, this, this turn stunning. I mean, I can kill you off. So let's put you over to here. On the move. And just flanking everybody. Go ahead and kill the officer. Or, you know, do that. That's a problem. Let's put you over here. And... Looks like I have to frag you then. That is very unfortunate. It's unlikely to kill him, but... He's taking enough damage, I can probably finish him off with a combat protocol. Uh, which means... Cat? You only see a mutant, okay. I was hoping you can kill a drone off for me. And I haven't figured what to do with you yet. Oh boy, okay, cat. We can even see a drone from. You see a drone from here. I'm on it. You can probably see an officer from here too. Hit chance against a drone is 94%. You have, unfortunately, not that high chance. You have to hit a 7 to kill it. On the other hand, if I check this, it's at 64%. It's pretty poor as well. What's your chances of a point blank? Not very high. I think. Go ahead and just take a shot at the drone. That's unfortunately kind of expected damage. Uh, Simon, I need you to finish off that, uh, that officer. So which means you've got to move here. Kill the officer off. Actually, before I do that, you... Okay, I guess you can kill the drone off. That's probably the best choice. So, common protocol against the officer. That was... Very unfortunate. Oh, wait a second. Does fire actually stop melee? I'm not sure. I hope it does. Well, <laughs> let's really hope it does for Fu Hang's sake. I'm gonna move you up slightly, Void Terror. And go ahead and kill off the drone. That's right. Yeah, because if fire doesn't stop melee, uh, Fu Hang might be a little bit of trouble. Because that's gonna hurt. Sort of, oh yeah, he's a drone as well, so no, he's definitely can't melee me. I know fire definitely stops shooting, I'm just not sure about the melee part. You are shooting me, and, well, just, I 
To be fair, he was not a Stormtrooper or anything. Oh, where are you going? Okay, somewhere back there. Great. Hello. Hey, you're fine, Fu Hey, Let's move you over here. Heading out. And let's hope you can hit hard enough. Because if you don't... Good, because if you did not the grace, oh boy. That would be very bad for you. Illyrium Core, cool. Okay, now it's for you. We can flank you easily enough. But I kind of want Simon to start heading towards objectives. So can someone else get this shot here? Yes, we can get Cat to come over here. There should be nothing else on the map. Go ahead, Cat. Thank you. Okay. Or, um, Simon. Simon, let's get you towards the objective. Surely there's another hacking tower somewhere between here and the exit. There has to be, right? I'm going to assume the answer is a yes. On the move. So of course, get you over here. And Norum, get you over here. Copy that. VIP in Sicherheit. Sind oh. Status confirmed. VIP is in Don't we have to like... To the extraction point. Are you kidding me? The VIP is actually stuck here because of fire? I, what? Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, I'm just going to leave you here for now and see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, Boy Terror, let's get you up to here to grab the loot next turn. Or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to just hunker the VIP and see what happens. I hope the fire goes away. Okay, I think I can get you out without setting you on fire. Good, okay. But seriously, don't I have to hack this? Yeah, I have to hack this door. And yeah, the game is telling me I can just leave. Uh, let's hack the door anyway, because it gives us rewards. Intel? Yeah, we need Intel. And besides, oh, we'll have succeeded. Whatever, we need Intel. Intel is a rare commodity these days. Uh-huh. Okay. Is there more towers around here? Not that I can see, but let's just head directly for the exit. We know there's nothing else on the map, like I said. There's no point hanging around. Location confirmed. Okay, Boy Terra, grab the loot. Maybe I should have someone slower. Whatever. I mean, someone further behind me. Okay, you. That's that's a waypoint marker, right? Yep. Uh, controls waypoint marker. I never remember exactly which key it was. I can barely see. There we go. Let's get you out here. Don't set yourself on fire. And let's get you in this way. Okay, Norum. Unfortunately, I actually blocked the stairs there. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm all over. Right there. Cat is slow. Rolling out. Simon is also Rolling slow out. right now. That's okay. Reinforcement's not here yet. Let us keep moving. We're actually not that far away from the exit. Fu Hang, let's move you here. Hopefully there's another hacking tower just next to the exit. That'll be very handy. Doesn't look like there is, though. Oh well, not a big deal. It's not... I'm just not fast. Let's get you over here. Already there. Norum. No, no, no. These people taking a low road, because why not? Affirmative. Uh, partially because Adam here is blocking the way. Ah, uh, boy terror. Let's get you here. Still no reinforcements. Excellent. I like it when it takes your time. For once, you know. Let's get you guys over here. Moving out. Boy Terra. Got it. Moving. Uh who's the last person down here? Cat. Already there. Okay, and Nora. Good to go. You guys, let's get out. Sportelos. A nice little firefight. No shinobi, no problem. I mean, I would have preferred having a shinobi because I would be able to move on much more confidence. But the fact that they're vulnerable meant they were unlikely to shoot me on yellow alert. Ah, that's okay, we'll be out by then. 
And there's actually no reason to... Oh god, I was... Please don't miss a blue move. Nope, that was a dash. Oh boy, I hope it still get out. The cursor has jumped on me. Really annoying when that happens. Oh well, I may as well watch some people then. There's no point dashing everyone in that case. I guess you. You can dash. Uh, watch. Overwatch. You can get out. You can overwatch. Oh, they're behind us. That's fine. That's where that tells you that before they even drop in. But you know, nothing too nasty. Okay. On your order. Let's keep moving. Moving to position. Uh, you can make it out. Excellent. Move, move, move. I mean, she would have looked close enough there, but I wasn't fully sure. Go, go, go. Moving to position. Let's leave. Yeah, it's a shame we can't hack the last tower or the tower over here, but simply during the fight, I don't want to hack it, and I don't want to have deal reinforcements as well. So let's just go. Heading home. All in all, relatively clean mission. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Eight out of ten. That's fine. No injuries. No dead. We get a relatively useless assault out of it, but hey, the assault sergeant, so that's pretty good. I just wish you can choose the classes of these people rather than having a predetermined for you. Look at this! Cat is now the Staff Sergeant. Executioner. The aim is still not great, but you know, it's getting there. It's a bunch of loot. Five Illyrium Pulse. We get so much Illyrium Pulse. Why can't we get some, like, I don't know, PCSs or something? Why so many Illyrium Pulse? I guess the nice thing about Illyrium Pulse is that they do provide a lot of cash when we sell them, if nothing else. Uh, cool. Uh, how good is this new guy? Where is he? He's a sergeant assault. Eh, decent movement. And pretty good aim. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you got more aim as an assault. Saint Cat does as a freaking ranger as staff sergeant. <sighs> okay, promote soldier. Yeah, for my soldier, because you can't. Yeah, I still wish you could choose, but you can't. Anyway, line reflexes. Uh, arc pulsar. At least if nothing out of higher aim, it means your arc throws are more likely to hit, so that's kind of helpful. Uh, stun gunner. And let us rename you to. Welcome back, Rick Fishman. If you remember right, I had renamed the original Rick Fishman to. Was it Eye of Evo? I think it might be Eye of Evo. Either way, welcome back, Rick Fishman. You're an assault. And you're not actually useless, you're also just an assault. I have kind of too many assaults right now. Um, what I'm gonna check is resistance management. Who do I have in these places? Do I have someone in New Brazil? Fluffiest bullet? Okay, who do I have in New Mexico? Right, Western US. Okay, everything looks okay. Now, exactly what I was doing last time, I'm not fully sure. The site where Big Sky took off from. No immediate signs of activity. Hold on. Might have something. It's a weak signal on an open channel. Is that Ballin? Haven't had any signs of her since we lost HQ. Commander, if there's any chance she or Big Sky are still alive, we have to get down there. Okay, we are not doing this mission. It's an interesting mission, that's for sure. If nothing else, we get Bradford on the mission, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it also causes alien rulers to start showing up. Yeah, no. Ain't happening. 
Okay, that's pretty helpful. Okay, I guess Nexus scanning in Eastern US. We need more intel. I am going to need 200 intel to contact Western Africa where I will build a radio tower. Um, I don't think I can build radio relays until I do the next research, which means I'm going to have to also do the next research as well. But that aside, let's go ahead and scan Eastern US. We want liberation missions Eastern there. US precinct. And hopefully we get more missions down in uh, Brazil as well while we're at it. That'll be helpful. Okay, what do we have? Five days, 11 hours. Smash and grab. Yes, please. Let me go set up a squad for this and I will get back to you. Okay, here is the squad. I am going pretty damn light. We are going with a Shinobi, Assault, Sharpshooter, Tactical, and Grenadier. I've stripped off most of the items to try to bring the mission expiration time down. Unfortunately, I could not bring it below the um, actual expiration time. Sorry, the infiltration time down. Part of the problem is, I simply do not have enough, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, suppressors. I only have one suppressor here. If I could put suppressors on everyone, I think I could bring it down below 5 days and 11 hours, but unfortunately I've been selling all my suppressors, which means, yeah, this is our situation. That said, not all is bad. Zeo here is sure as a squaddy, but he does have incendiary grenades, so that helps a lot. Uh, we have a decently ranked sharpshooter, which will provide a lot of firepower, and we have Hyphus, who is a sergeant, so that should provide a decent chunk of firepower as well. Uh, we have myself, the technical, with just SMG, which means after I fire my rocket, I'm not going to be that useful. But that said, hopefully everything will, won't be too bad, considering it is extremely light. I might bump it to a very light, but again, I'm hoping the fact that we have a high-ranking sharpshooter will mitigate a lot of that. And of course we have squad the uh, Mooney. Yes, we have two squaddies here. Side problem? Perhaps. We'll see. Either way, let's go ahead and launch the infiltration. Do I have the equipment for this? That actually is a good question. I think I do. I should do. And we definitely have the people for it. We have a ton of assaults. Um, unfortunately, no sharpshooters available. Yeah, if we look at our sharpshooters, where are they? They're all infiltrating. Okay. That is slightly unfortunate. Do we have a mission about to trigger 37%, 63% in 15 hours? Okay. 15 hours. And this is expiring one day in three hours. So I'm going to wait for that to expire. How? I, I believe I said I was going to boost infiltration here. So let's go ahead and boost it now. Oh, what do we get for this? 30 intel. Awesome. It is now light. We'll wait for another five hours. Cool. Let's scan ahead. Uh, scan ahead. Still a light. We do have six people on this mission, but oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna wait another five hours probably. Oh, a supply raid. Yeah, that's not happening. 103%. Is he a vulnerable and now very light? Okay, let's go ahead and do this mission next. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time for uh, Destroy Alien Relay, Get Intel, Prevent a Resistance Dial Link. More importantly, we are going to prevent a retaliation mission. So that's our next mission. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye.